March the 2nd, 2021. Guys, uh, the weather here has changed quite a bit in the last few days. In the last video on the weather, well, we were at 80 degrees plus here. Now we are at 44 degrees at 12.04 uh, p.m. Central. It's been raining now uh, probably close to 24 hours off and on. And we're getting a little break right now, but that's probably going to end. But we are uh, have now reached meteorological spring. Things are going to start to warm up and dry out. Now here in the southeast, that occurs very quick, quickly, and uh, we'll have a very nice spring. One of the things that the different weather guys are talking about is, especially in the southeast, and you guys don't forget this, because of the rapid warming that we're going to see, and we're still going to have cold air up through April north of us, that uh, the case uh, for severe outbreaks of tornadoes and thunderstorms uh, can be, uh, come about very quickly. And we know that's a natural occurrence, but we're in different times. We're in grand solar minimum, and that's why we saw the record icing hit us in Louisiana, Texas, and many places in the nation, Oklahoma, up through that area, and just sit here for a week and paralyze everything. And, and on the, uh, while, while I'm mentioning that, for all you guys that have uh, ordered the Aquaflow Max in the last week or so, the uh, of course the ice and everything's melted, but transport across the nation was backed up and they're still dealing with the back uh, log of that. Uh, we, um, there's, we should have all the parts in, we're hoping, by today. Most of them came in Saturday, but uh, they're talking. It looks like the other ones will get here today. If so, they will go out tomorrow. And normally, if you order an Aquaflow Max from us in the last three years or so, you instantly get a tracking number, and uh, in a couple of days, you've got it in your hands. That's just how we like to do it. Here, our hands are tied just because we need the other parts. And uh, everything's ready to go. They're going to be assembled very quickly and shipped out. So thank you for your patience on that. And everyone has learned uh, lessons from this storm, whether it's from getting product out or product in or keeping your home warm or having extra food and water. We've all learned from it. And I have actually ordered extra parts now. So if this happens again, I will have a week or so backup. But we've never had it happen before. It looks like it's coming to an end, so thank you very much. And looking at the National Weather Service's map, this is current, you're still seeing these flood warnings throughout uh, sections of East Texas, through northern Louisiana, up into uh, north-central Mississippi, through the Delta. You've got Arkansas involved. Tennessee, Kentucky, and Kentucky you were one of the hardest hit areas. And the uh, as far as flooding goes, I've seen the images on TV. We knew there was a lot of rain coming with this storm. Remember, as we were looking at uh, all the areas that were under tornado warnings, or, or excuse me, watches the other night. So that we still have rain in the southeast. We're going to take a look at that. Now, most of the rest of the nation, you're basically dealing with high wind and uh, wind chill factors, things like that. And let me encourage everyone that can, in any way possible, do this. Um, I want you to go to your local state uh, website uh, or your agricultural website, and most states will have a map, and it will have different zones. Just I think we have six or seven zones here in Mississippi, starting at the Gulf Coast, and they get and uh, they go from there. And it gives you time, uh, times and conditions under which you can plant. This year is going to be critical because of the things that we see coming down. Even a small backyard garden or container garden could end up saving your life. Things are going to get a little rough, I think, before all is said and done. So, again, think very heavily and very hard. It's not an expensive thing to do. Get you some seedlings. Uh, go to your, again, local state agricultural division of your government. Get the planning guides, times, areas, what you need to do, soil temperatures, things like that. Do it. Again, you can't get fresher food, but it could end up saving you and your family's life. You know, to hell with all that grass in the backyard if your family's starving. 
Now, let's look at, uh, again, you've got the flooding areas here, high wind warnings across the nation, but let's look at the actual radar. Now, looking at the southeast first, guys, the rain is definitely tapering off. You can see some of the heavier showers are from New Orleans up to south of Montgomery, Alabama, over near Atlanta, Georgia. And the central Mississippi, where we're at, we're getting kind of a break now. It's still overclouded um, and uh, gray, and now it's at 45 degrees, real field 43 here. The uh, It's much better than the icy we, we had, by the way. Really shouldn't be complaining, and I'm not. But uh, it's going to get better from here. You know, uh, I would watch uh, in the s southern area of this from Tallahassee and the Orlando area into the evening hours, depending on the temperature in your local area, because that would be the place you would see probably any problems with severe storms. Because of the temperature where we're at, it's not very likely to happen. We're pretty cool here. We're not going to have that clash of warm and cold air. But where you're warm at now and you're close to this front, you see, just keep an eye on that as the evening goes through. And as we uh, back this thing out, the nation is somewhat dry compared to what we've seen lately got some moisture is going to be coming into seattle over in alaska you're getting some you've had some pretty uh good storms over off the bering sea by the way too but uh, they're saying that california is going to get a break from the uh drought this year that's another good thing we'll have to watch it because that will definitely help with the forest fires that have been uh, devastating for the last few years and as I have said many times, our weather here is controlled by space weather. Now, we're in a geomagnetic storm, and so far it's been the strongest of this sun cycle. Uh, we've seen solar wind speeds uh, elevate, uh, getting uh, a close to and above 600 kilometers per second. The, what you're looking at here on this in a little map is uh, your temperature of the solar wind in green at the bottom and the center. And the purple line is the speed in kilometers per second. Then density in centimeters cubed here. And uh, they had to actually expand the density chart. Notice it uh, is peaking at 100 now instead of 15 or 20. That's because we were seeing uh, large events happen here, getting up into your, your density at 30 plus. And that's strong. Your solar wind speed at this time was 504 now we're getting into the highest points here at 610 and guys you're all over a million miles per hour at that point but with the density that high in the solar wind we actually for the first time recorded and this is all going into spring recorded a the first hurricane in the upper atmosphere that was energized particles it lasted for eight hours it went counterclockwise just like a hurricane and it lasted eight hours extremely high speed and it was scattering particles all over the northern hemisphere now one thing that i've noticed um, as we see the wind speed is it's dull this is a three-day chart by the way starting out here at 375 or so um, wind speed notice mount etna the uh, some of the other uh, volcanoes around the world they'll go through a calming period now, as this happened yesterday, Mount Etna now is again exploding with magnificent explosions for that mountain. And uh, right now, villages are getting covered in dust. And what we're dealing with, again, you've got your magnetic lines of force that your compass reads north to south, coming in and out the north and south poles of our planet. Now, when that energy is picked up in that magnetic field, it's transformed uh, transferred into the earth itself thus that energy is heat and in and uh, electrical current and the volcano sense it especially with weak shields during grand solar minimum it's an unusual year and it is not over but again it's very interesting to watch this now also if we maintain the 600 kilometer per second um, plus solar wind speed there's going to be pressure on the tectonic plates, maybe just a cluster of small quakes like we saw yesterday in areas of California the day before, or it could be larger ones. The, the sharper the impact, in other words, these are fairly smooth upticks in speed here, kind of a smooth slope here and here. It's the sudden jarring ones that cause the most tectonic uh, pressure. 
but definitely it is affecting the volcanoes. When you see and go and check out, just type in um, some of the volcanoes around the planet, whichever one you're watching, Mount Etna, and uh, look at the how the activity has been for the last week or so, and you'll see how closely it matches this rise and this magnetic energy striking our field and again being transferred. But guys, we're watching this. Um, springtime is here. There's going to be some changes. Be prepared for that. It's heads up. Be safe.